All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I wanted to make a video today about Vince Garanda, a.k.a. the Iron Guru. Now, several of you guys have been excited for this video, and some of you have requested it. So I'm glad to hear that a lot of you guys actually know who Vince Garanda was. Now, for those of you who don't know who Vince was, he was one of the original bodybuilding gurus from the golden era of bodybuilding. Um, and he was also known as the Iron Guru. Now, he was known for also owning the famous Vince's Gym. Now, Vince's Gym back in the day was pretty similar to what Gold's Gym Venice was in the sense that it had a lot of the greatest bodybuilders of that golden era coming to train at that gym just so they could train with Vince in his gym because he was that famous and that popular amongst the bodybuilding community. So among some of the famous names that trained at Vince's Gym were Arnold Schwarzenegger, Frank Zane, Lou Ferrigno, Serge Nubre, Muhammad Makawe, um, Larry Scott, the first Mr. Olympia, Don Haworth, among many others, came to train at this gym. Um, and that's part of why Vince is so famous is because his gym attracted so many great bodybuilders to come train there. So another thing that's important to remember about Vince Garanda is the fact that he claimed to be a lifetime natural bodybuilder. Now, this is a noteworthy fact because among all the bodybuilders that Vince, is, Vince has trained, um, many of them later admitted to being on intense steroid protocols, specifically D-ball. Now, D-ball was a common thread amongst trainees of Vince, but none of them ever actually admitted that Vince put them on that protocol. And Vince has been a lifelong advocate and claimer of being a natural bodybuilder. So he's always said that he believes in natural bodybuilding. He doesn't believe in drug use. So it's kind of controversial because many of his quote unquote trainees um, later in life admitted to taking massive amounts of D-ball or testosterone or whatever the case may be. Um, but they never actually said that Vince gave them that protocol. But for example, Larry Scott, who again, many of you know, was the first Mr. Olympia ever. He started training with Vince at the body weight of 157 pounds. So he started training with Vince at 157. And by the time he was ready for his first Mr. Olympia competition, he weighed 207 pounds. So Vince put on over 50 pounds of muscle on the Larry Scott's frame, and he claims to have done it naturally. Um, so he was definitely a very good trainer, you know, regardless of what methods he used, what protocols he gave these guys. And that's one of the things he was very famous for was getting guys ready for shows. So that's why he was considered the original iron guru. So another thing that's important to note about this guy is he invented all kinds of workouts that we still use today, workouts and exercises. So he invented something known as the Garanda dip, um, which was obviously a dip movement that focused on the chest. He also invented the sissy squat, which many of us still use today. He also invented the preacher curl, which is probably the most commonly used exercise that he invented, which he, him and Larry Scott would later call the Scott curl. Um, so if you don't know what the preacher curl is, it's using you know a dumbbell or a barbell um, on an incline. I guess it would be on a decline um, and kind of using that angle to your advantage while doing the curl. Um, he also was famous for inventing the 8x8 workout. He was a believer in the low-carb slash keto diet methodology. So when he would give these guys their diet and nutrition protocols, it would often be a very low-carb diet. So he was a big OG of the keto uh, industry, the keto fad. Um, so in 2016, he was inducted in the Muscle Beach Hall of Fame. Some of the competitions he competed in, um, where the 1949 Mr. California, where he placed fourth, the 1950 Mr. USA, the 1952 AAU Mr. America, and the 1962 Mr. Universe, where he would place second. Now, again, claiming to be a natural bodybuilder at all of these competitions. So his body weight um, at these competitions, on average, was 165 pounds, and his height was five foot eight. So that's definitely a body weight that's not outside of the realm of possibility for a natural bodybuilder. So I believe it is it is possibly, potentially possible that he was a natural bodybuilder. Um, the biggest he ever was, and this was not his stage weight, was 187 pounds. So at the height of you know his biggest bulk, that was the biggest he ever got up to was 187 at five foot eight naturally. So one of the problems he ran into with a lot of these competitions uh, where he didn't win uh, because he didn't win the Mr. USA, he didn't win the Mr. Universe, didn't win the Mr. America, 
the the fact that he competed so early on, like I said, he competed in the 40s and early 50s. Um, at that time, guys were not shredded to the bone like Vince was. Vince was absolutely shredded to the bone and ripped at all these competitions. But if you remember, back in the 40s and 50s, these guys came in holding a lot of extra body weight. They were they were fuller, they were rounder, they held on to a little bit more water, and they didn't come in as shredded and lean as the guys come in today. But Vince's approach to these competitions was to come in absolutely ripped to the bone. Um, and that a lot of people think that actually worked to his disadvantage because during that time period, that's not really what they were looking for. They weren't looking for that level of conditioning. They were more looking at the roundness and the fullness and the muscularity and not so much at conditioning like they do today. So a lot of people believe that's why Vince didn't have a very successful bodybuilding career himself because he was actually too ripped for that time period. Um, so he was also known for training a lot of celebrities um, later in life and early in life. He trained guys like Clint Eastwood, Denzel Washington, James Gardner, Sean Penn, and many others. Um, and there, the list is just too long to go through. There's there's probably dozens and dozens of celebrities that have came through Vince's gym to train with Vince for whatever movie role they may have been training for at that time. So he was very famous for all those innovative concepts that he invented, those exercises, those workouts, those diets. Um, and he's also famous for his kind of uh, FU attitude. So there's a story that the first time he met Arnold, Arnold came into his gym and introduced himself and said, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, I won this competition. I won that competition. And he basically said to Arnold, you're nothing but a fat fuck. You're nobody. Um, so he basically humbled Arnold. And that's a pretty famous story about Vince is that Vince really just doesn't give a shit. And he just says whatever's on his mind. So that's basically the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit about Vince that you didn't know before. Nick Strength and Power. Signing out.